Hi, this is Nick from Candleweld coming at you from our office in Vaughan, Ontario today. Uh, I got a short video for you guys today and what I want to do is show you how to switch from using the thumb controls with your TIG ACDC to using a foot pedal. And when you do that, you're going to need to make some adjustments to the machine. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring that camera in nice and close and I'm going to walk you through everything I'm going to change to make sure that the foot pedal runs perfectly. So stick around and we'll get right to it. Okay, so like I said, today we're going to be switching from the thumb control on our TIG torch to using this sweet little foot pedal that we got. But the first thing I'm going to have to do is change some of the values on this machine to make sure that my foot pedal runs smoothly. So the first thing that I want to do is switch from two-step uh, into two-step from four-step. So when I was using the TIG torch, I had it in four-step mode, but that doesn't make any sense when you're using a foot pedal. So we're going to switch it over to two-step. I'm also going to switch into AC, not because I'm using a foot pedal, but because I'm going to be welding aluminum. After that, I want to go ahead and turn my hot start on because I don't want to be scratch starting with a foot pedal. It doesn't make much sense. Next, we have to change some of these values. So the first thing we're going to get to is our pre-flow of gas. 3.2 seconds, that's fine. The next is going to be our upslope, which also happens to be at 3.2. But now I don't need to worry about upslope anymore because I'm going to be using the foot pedal to control that manually. So I need to set that value to zero. Next, 140 is the maximum amount of amps that I can run off this machine right now because I'm plugged into a 110 outlet. If I was plugged into a 220, I would have 200 amps. But okay, so 140 is my max. I like to have all the power on the pedal, so we'll keep that there. Next, our downslope. Again, downslope becomes a moot point when you're using the foot pedal, so set that value to zero. Boom. And lastly, our post flow of gas. That's no big deal. Uh, that's fine where it is at five seconds. If you guys have any questions or you're wondering about the pre and post flow of gas, we actually have another video that just went up about that. So I'm not gonna get into it right now. But if you're curious about that, go ahead and check out that video. Okay, so now we've got all of our settings switched over. The next thing we need to do is unplug our pin connector. This is the pin connector that comes to your TIG torch and allows you to use the thumb controls. You're gonna wanna unplug that but I am gonna keep the gas line connected. Don't disconnect that, otherwise you're gonna wreck your welds. Now I'm gonna grab the pin connection for my foot pedal, and you'll see as soon as I plug it in here, this value of 140 is gonna drop all the way down really low because my pedal is all the way up in this position. So let's go ahead and plug it in, get that screwed in, okay. There we go. All right, now the rheostat on my pedal has a 1 to 10 ratio. As you can see here, I can drop it down to 10 amps, but let's max it up. And now, when I depress my pedal, we're going to press it all the way down, and you're going to see the amperage climb up to 140, and you're also going to hear this fan kick on. So let's do it. Boom. That's it. So now we've successfully switched over our TIG AC-DC from using the thumb control with the TIG torch to using these awesome little foot pedals. I'm a foot pedal man myself, so if you haven't tried these before, they're definitely worth it. I like them a lot. Okay guys, so that uh, pretty much sums it up for how to switch from your thumb control TIG to using your foot pedal. If you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. I do go ahead and I read all those and I use it to drive further videos. If you enjoyed this and you found it helpful, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, that'd be great too. And if you're tech savvy, you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram as well. Thanks a lot for watching guys and I'll catch you next time.